Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our second session for the topic squares and square roots. In the previous session, we discussed the basic of squares and square roots. We discussed about uh, perfect square numbers. In this session, we'll be taking problems based on um, perfect square numbers. So let's begin the session. Now friends, I have a number 1, 4, 2, 8, 3. Now, I have to find the smallest number by which this number must be divided. So, the resulting number is a perfect square, right? So, what I have to do? First of all, I have to go for the prime factorization of this. So, this number is divisible by 3. So, 3 fourths are 12, 2, 2, 3 sevens are 21, 1, 8, 3 six are 18 and 1, 3 ones are 3. Then further 7 plus 4, 11, 1, 12 and 6, 18. Further it is divisible by 3. So 3 ones are 3. Then 1, 7, 3, 5 are 15. 2, 6, 3, 8 are 24. 2, 3, 7 are 21. Okay. Now 1 plus 5, 6 and 8, 14 plus 7, 21. Still it is divisible by 3. So 3, 5 are 15. 3, 2 are 6. 2, 3, 9 are 27. Then we have 23, 23, 23 and 1. Now let's make the pairs. Now we are left with 1, 3 only. That means this number is not a perfect square. So what do we have to do uh, to make this number as a perfect square? That either we have to eliminate this 3 or we want 1 more 3, right? So either multiply this number by 3 or divide this number by 3. Right? So, in this case, we have to divide the number. So, divide that entire number by 3. So, the remaining number or the quotient will be divisible by, I'm sorry, the quotient will be a perfect square number. Right? So, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, if it is divided by 3, whatever the quotient, that will be a perfect square. Right? So, I'm discussing both the things. Either you multiply it by 3 or you divide it by 3. If you multiply it by 3, you'll be getting one more 3. So, you'll be getting a pair of 3. Okay, then it will be converted to perfect square number. And if you divide it by 3, you will not be having any extra number over here. Right? Because this 3 will be eliminated. Okay? So, both ways, if the question is asked in any ways, you can do it. I hope you are clear. Now friends, here in this case, find the greatest number of two digits which, which is a perfect square. You know, square of 9 is what? 81. And that is the greatest number of two digits that is perfect square. Because after 9, we have square of 10, that's 100. And 100 is having three digits, right? So what is the greatest number of two digits which is a perfect square? Is that 81. Similarly, find the least number of three digits which is a perfect square. What is the least number of three digits? That is 100. And 100 itself is a perfect square. Right? So, it's 100. Now, suppose you are to find out the greatest, um, maybe four digit number, which is a perfect square. Greatest four digit number, which is a perfect square. Now, the greatest four digit number is 9999. Right? Now, it's not a perfect square number. That means we have to find out a number which is less than 9999, but it should be perfect square. So let's find out what is 99 square. 99 square is, you can find it out. Do attend Vedic math session. It's 9801. Now what's 100 square? That's 10,000. So it's 99 square. Uh, uh, but we have to find out the greatest four digit number but 100 square is going into five digit okay so the greatest four digit number which is a perfect square is 99 square that is 9801 okay i hope you are clear now the next thing which we are going to discuss is properties and patterns of perfect square numbers. Now, just uh, listen to me carefully. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 
3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 40, 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100, 11 square is 121, 12 square is 144, 13 square is 169, 14 square is 196, 15 square is 225. Now, more numbers. Now, just observe one thing very carefully. See, square of an odd number is always an odd number, right? We can see 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, right? The square is always an odd number. So, square f of an odd number will be an odd number and square of even numbers will be even numbers. See, 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, uh, 8 square is 64 and so on, right? So, what is the most important thing? Square of an odd number will be an odd number. Square of an even number will be an even number, okay? And the next thing is, how do we find out the unit digit of square? See the number which are ending with 1, the square will always end in 1. The number which are ending in 2, the square will end in 4, right? You can compare this and this. Here, this number is ending with 2 and this number is also ending with 2, right? And the squares are ending with 4. Or we can say the unit digit of the square will be 4. Similarly, the numbers which are ending in 3, as we can compare this and this, the square will be ending in 9, right? So, what you have to do? You just multiply 3 into 3 and you will be getting the unit digit. Similarly, the numbers which are ending with 4, we can compare this and this. These square are ending in 6. The numbers which are ending in 5, their square will also end in 5. The numbers which are ending in 6, their square will also end in 6. The numbers which are ending in 7, the square will be ending in 9. The numbers which are ending in 8, the squares will be ending in 4. The numbers which are ending in 9, the squares will end in 1. And the numbers which are ending in 0, the square will also end in 0, right? So, if you have to find out the unit digit of uh, any number square, suppose maybe you have to find out 53 square and you have to find out the unit digit. Now, what you do is you just square the unit digit. Here the unit digit is what? 3. So, 3 square is what? 9. So, 53 square, the unit digit will be 9. Or we can say 9 will be at the units place if we calculate 53 square. Okay? I hope you are clear. We take some examples uh, over here. Now, the square of which of the following numbers will be an odd number? Now, this is an odd number. So, square will be an odd number. This is an even number, so square will be an even number. This is an odd number, so square will be an odd number. This is an even number, so square will be an even number. Okay? Now, friends, here we have to find out the unit digit of squares of the given numbers. Now, as simple as that, it's 2, unit digit is 2, so the unit digit of its square will be what? 4. Just you square the uh, number that is at the units place. So, the uh, square of 52 will be having 4 at its unit place. Similarly, here it's 7. So, its square will be ending in 9. Here it's 3. So, 3 square is 9. So, square of 4, 5, 8, 3 will have 9 at its unit place. Similarly, it's 7. So, square of this number will be having 7 square. That's 49. That means 9 at the unit place. Similarly, 8 square is 64. So, uh, 5, 2, 6, 9, 8 square will end in 4 or 5, 2, 6, 9, 8 square will have 4 at its, its unit place. Here, 0. So, 0 square is 0. So, it will end in 0 only. 0 square will end in 0. Here, we have 6. So, square of this number will also end in 6 because 6 square is what? 36 that ends in 6. Here, unit place is 5, so square of 5 is 25, so its square will also end in 5. Here, 4, 
4 square is 16, so that ends in 6. So, square of even this number will also end in 6. Okay? So, what you have to do precisely, you take the unit digit of the number and find out the square of that number. So, whatever the number you are getting at the units place will be the same number that you'll be getting if you square this number and its units place. Okay? I hope you are clear. Now, friends, we have discussed that uh, prop, uh, we have discussed some properties and patterns of perfect square numbers. Now, you can observe one thing over here. One square is ending in one. Just a moment. One square is ending in one. Two square is ending in four. Three square nine. Four square six. Five square five. Six square six. Seven square nine. Eight square four. Then this and then this. Now you can see the unit digit of square numbers uh, can be 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1 and 0, right? So you don't have 2, 3, 7 and 8 at units place of any perfect square number, right? So that means precisely what we can say, no perfect square number will end in 2, 3, 7 or 8, okay? Be very careful, I repeat it once again. No perfect square number will end in 2, 3, 7, 8. Right? Why? Because all the perfect square number will end in 1, 4, 9, 6, 5 and 0. Okay? We don't have any other option because all the numbers will be having at units place maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. So the square will be ending in 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6. 9, 4, 1 and 0. So we don't have space for 2, 3, 7 and 8 at units place. Okay. So no perfect square number can end in 2, 3, 7, 8. Right. Suppose you have any number. It's 1, 0, 5, 7. Suppose you have to say whether this is a perfect square number or not. So you can very well easily say that's not a perfect square. Without any calculation you can say because it has number 7 at units place and no perfect square number ends in 7. Right. Similarly, suppose I take uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. Here it's 3 at units place. So even this number cannot be perfect square. You can you don't have to go for the prime factorization. You can uh, like easily say without any calculation, you can say because this number is having 3 at units place and a perfect square number cannot end with these numbers. Right. So this is uh, one more important property of perfect square numbers. I hope you are clear with that also. One more important thing over here, a perfect square number cannot have odd number of zeros at the end. Suppose I have number maybe 2, 5, 0, 0, 0. So I can easily say that this number is not a perfect square. Why? Because a perfect square number cannot end in odd number of zeros. Right? Instead, if we have this number, then it will be perfect square. Right? I'm sorry, this. This will be a perfect square number because we have a uh, even number of zeros, right? Similarly, I can say 2, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. This number will not be perfect square because we have three zeros at the end which are odd in number. So, even it is not a perfect square number. Okay, I am I am having 8, 9, 2, 1, 2. This is also not a perfect square because we are having uh, 2 at units place and from 2, 3, 7, 8, no perfect square number can end. Okay, so these are some basic rules or interesting um, observations on perfect square numbers. Now, one more interesting thing I would like to share with you. Uh, do you know how to find out the square of the numbers which are having only ones? Suppose 11 square, right? It's 1, 2, 1. Suppose 1, 1, 1 square. So, there are three ones. So, go up to 3, then uh, come down. So it's 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, right? If there are 4 ones, so it's uh, 4 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, go till 4, then come down, 3, 2, 1. If there are 5 ones, then go up to 5. Isn't it very interesting? If there are 6 ones, then go up to 6. Okay, so it's a very interesting pattern uh, which the numbers containing 1 are forming. 
observe just uh, one more pattern 11 square is 1 2 1 now we have 1 0 1 square that will be 1 0 2 0 1 then suppose we have 1 0 1 0 1 square then 1 0 2 0 3 0 2 0 1 Similarly, you can proceed further. If there are four ones like 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then it will be 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 1. Right? So this is one more interesting pattern. Apart from that, uh, suppose the next is one more interesting pattern I would like to share. 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square is 3 square. Right? 4 plus 4, 8 and 1, 9. Then 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square is 7 square. Then 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square is 13 square. Right? So this is also one more interesting pattern. And how it is interesting? Just see it carefully. It's 3 square, it's 4 square, it's 3 into 4 square. Okay? And here it is 12 plus 1. That means we can say 3 into 4 plus 1 square. Right? So suppose um, I discuss a riddle with you. Suppose it's 5 square, then uh, maybe 6 square. Then I have to find out this is equal to um, 31 square. So what this data will be? It's 5 square plus 6 square plus x square is 31 square. So if we compare these two patterns, what should come over here? It's 5 into 6. Okay. So do observe that how interesting uh, the, these patterns are. Okay. Maybe you are asked the question based on these patterns. So you should be able to crack the pattern. I hope you are clear with the, all these. Now friends, in our next session, we'll learn to find out the square of numbers right do revise this session and the previous session as well so you feel comfortable in the next session bye bye